We do begin with that wildfire disaster in Colorado. Hundreds of homes destroyed by the fast moving flames. Now the most destructive fire in the state ever. Tens of thousands of people forced to evacuate. Will Carr is live on the scene with the latest. Will, good morning. Good morning, Whit. Hundreds of homes, a Target, even a hotel, all gone this morning, destroyed by a stunningly fast fire that was pushed by dry conditions and hurricane force winds. We're talking up to 115 miles per hour that helped surround this community by flames and gave residents here little time to get out. Overnight, the governor declaring a state of emergency here in Colorado as fast moving wildfires leave behind an apocalyptic trail of destruction burning down hundreds of homes. Structure is in imminent danger, people refusing to evacuate. Fires forcing mandatory evacuations for entire towns. You can smell the smoke and there's a lot of ash blowing. I have people there that need to be evacuated that are unable to do so themselves. Residents in Superior and Louisville, located near Boulder, pouring the contents of their lives into their cars, rushing to escape the furious flames, aided by wind gusts up to 115 miles per hour. That whole west side of Louisville fire. is completely smoked out. You cannot see anything. Knowing that the fire is only blocks away and that it really, you really could never see those family photos again, that part was harder than even just seeing the, the devastation. This is Panic breaking out inside this Chuck E. Cheese packed with kids as fire raced towards the building. We really started to see the sky turn dark and um, we sensed that there was a pretty bad fire, but we didn't know that uh, there was a, an intense fire right beside us. Jason Fletcher and his wife Heidi inside with their family recording the chaos. <laughs> When we got into the car, our faces were covered in black ash and debris, and it, we had masks on, and it was in our mouths. On highways, big rigs flipped on their sides. The conditions so bad, hospitals forced to evacuate patients. I have never experienced anything like this. Every neighborhood around us was in flames. At least one first responder and six others injured in the fires. This morning, tens of thousands of people are still under evacuation, waiting to come back to see what's left here. And a lot of people are asking what caused this fire. At this point, it's believed that down power lines created all this devastation. Quit. All right, Will, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.